I'm about to. All right. For everyone that's been supporting just me as a person, as an artist, as a dad, as a brother, as as a cousin, as an uncle, this is all for y'all. I'm on the phone right now with my homegirl Heather from California because um, she was the first one that called me when I texted all of y'all to tell y'all what's happening, right? So, you know, we, we're going to take this trip and y'all bear with me. And everybody that support me on YouTube, I appreciate all, all of your love and support also. Heather, what's today's date? Today is the 13th, January, she says. My daughter's in school. She gets out at 4 o'clock today. I just got the phone call, and I'm going to thank Mr. McDonald right now and Miss High and Miss Hightower Johnson and my man George Williams III. If I've forgotten anybody personally, I will thank you in the credits. Watch the credits, and you'll see your name. Trust me, you will, because this is just the beginning. Trust me. All right, let me set this thing up. Oh, this is so wild. Heather, you still on the phone? I, I know I know this whole thing, this whole thing seems kind of crazy. <laughs> I shot this whole deal, you know, I, I, and I just noticed that the that the camera wasn't even like focused on me. I am a songwriter, a producer, a reporter, a director, a videographer, a student. I am. Everybody goes through things. A lot of people who have their speculations as to you know how you know we raise our kids no one knows anything you know the things that we go through we learn from and we pass that down to our children here it is i've got my youngest daughter coming to town my oldest daughter's about to graduate i've got all this crazy stuff that i got to get done and i've got to get it all done in time for the birthday party so I've got meetings, I've got, you know, um, phone conferences, I've got school going on. Man, it was just crazy. Trying to get a new sense of direction of what I want to do now that I've been home. Away from.
from the crew. That track. That was the first track that she liked. She was like, oh, that's 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 her. You know, and I only started a snippet. You know, they really got to inquire about. It, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. She was digging. That was the first track she was checking. For. I'm hearing the second hand now from her, her people. And she said she said that she's coming to uh, Atlanta. I get on the phone and I, and I work with my designer on cutedupradio.com and, and Christopher Clothing. It's going well. It's long hours. It's a lot of, of, of ideas going back and forth as far as the development, being able to go from a prototype to, you know, the end product. Well, if there's a Q that queued up radio that needs to come to me. Your boy Q. You're supposed to get the stuff for the clothing. Okay. <laughs> Mo's been cutting my hair for four years now. <laughs> I enjoy every minute that I'm in the shop. The jokes. It's cool with you, little bitch. It's the barber shop, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Google it up. Google it up. Barber shop, I noticed. You got to have your stats together if you're going to talk. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah we'll do it. People will do challenges. You got to be ready. Y'all gonna be the Redskins on y'all division this year, baby. Remember the Redskins doing that? They do bad every year. My man went to the game. He said when he got to the ticket game, the guy asked him for his ticket. He, he tapped on the stuff. He said, oh, I left him my windshield in my car. I'll be right back. So he got a line, ran back to his car. As he was getting back to his car in the parking lot, he noticed his windshield was busted out. He said, oh, man, I forgot to the car. Oh, man, somebody stole my tickets, right? He gets to the windshield, he had two extra tickets up in the windshield. <laughs> I appreciate being there for my daughter's graduation. There's been some time between, you know, our visits and our communication and um, being able to talk to her and help her get to graduation and, and Discuss, you know. Harry, Harry, Harry. Just hearing that name. Mia Tia Gunnery. I, I completely lost control. Seeing your firstborn graduate. We had a VIP party, I had to drive up, pick up my youngest daughter, bring her to town, and, you know, I had to go get the cake, you know, I had to take time out to design the cake, and get that right, the crown, you know, invite all the guests, do all the cooking, and, you know, it was a really good time. Yep. Yep. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I just come out. <laughs> My youngest daughter is just a, a burst of energy. One of the things that I see in her, that I see in myself, is, is compassion. I miss her a lot.
Virginia, you know, her living, you know, in New England, it's, it's taxing sometimes. I don't take for granted the time, and I don't take her for granted at all. She's beautiful inside and out, and, you know, a, a blessing. What made the party really special was my mom being there. Then there's being out in West Virginia with my man Bub, busting them off. Now you're, you're hot right there. Bub wanted to break out the steel, so we went up in the, in the hills and old mining you know, section of West Virginia and just had a good time. Bub is, is a good friend of mine and uh, and uh, Earth, you know, you know, and uh, it's been a minute since I've picked up a, uh, any any type of arms. So, you know, wanted to go hang out with Bub a few rounds. You know, to where it just put me, you know, in an awkward spot. And um, I had to move out of my roommate's house and um, was very fortunate at how that, you know, had went down. You know, I, I see it as a blessing. And um, I, my daughter had gone out, you know, to spend some time with friends and family out on the West Coast. And I got this call um, about a house and um, that it was available. So I had to, you know, do everything necessary to, um, you know, get everything set up in the house. Um, at the time, the house wasn't, you know, the house needed, you know, some things done, you know, on the outside as well as the inside. So, you know, I had to, you know, get all of that straight in, in time for my daughter to get back here. And um, it was just a few days after she had gotten back to Virginia. That I that I got in the call, um, saying that everything was cool. I got the green light to move into the house, so we packed up, you know, the trucks, and we moved into the house. Um, it was just an amazing task, knowing that I only had, you know, four or five months until my youngest would be here, um, and it was really, you know, it, I had to get everything done before she got here, you know, knowing that. I had one daughter that was going to be graduating, and I had, you know, my youngest daughter was going to be turning seven and wanted to have her party here. Her, have, her wanting to have a party here was quite the surprise. Um, as a single dad, you know, in this business, you're constantly on the go. You know, things are constantly happening, and um, you know, relationships aren't, you know, guaranteed. You know, it takes a lot of work. You know, to have a relationship, and you know, although you know my relationship, you know, with with my with my daughter's mother, you know, didn't work out. You know, I still try my, you know, everything possible to have that relationship. You know, kids need their parents, and you know, once you have kids, you, you need to, un you know, it's important that you know you're there to nurture those kids. Um. Hello.